I want to comment on a few of the comments that have been made uh, very quickly uh, about my piece on um, the riots. Uh, as El says, so very, very sad. Condolences to all the families affected, absolutely. Uh, Nick Walker, reform must be delighted. Their troops are deployed and knuckle daggers rejoice. Neil Fletcher, um, the media spread stories that incite certain groups to react. I've literally fought racism since the 1970s against the National Front, yet here we are in 2024 and the same problem persists when the EDL hijacked a vigil, turning it into a riot. It's abhorrent. But they don't need much of an excuse to kick off, especially with so much fake news stoking the fires of hatred. I'll be honest, it starts when we don't trust the system that is supposed to protect us. That, that's exactly the point. It's a lack of trust which has exploded into a riot. And if we cannot trust the system, if we cannot trust the authorities, then we need to rebuild that trust. Rebuilding that trust is more important than um, than, than almost any other initiative in our society. It doesn't seem to come to the front. And uh, repression is simply going to put this underground. We need to, we, we, we need to restore the, um, the value of the police force, the value of the judiciary, the value of teachers and um, and doctors and it's about personal a uh, personal inter interaction um, Steph Foxwell says compare and contrast the police response to the riot in Leeds um, Brendan Pell says compare and contrast the number and severity of the injuries suffered by the police this was a spontaneous uprising of concerned locals but an organized attack by an experienced hooligan gang I don't know I'm not there and I can't really speculate about who is who is involved in this riot um, but certainly judging from the comments on social media there seem to be quite a number of people have bust up to uh, the area and are fermenting discord uh, and and of course they're very emotional this is a highly emotional moment and it, it's it's sparked by the most horrific crime viciousness the killing of children uh, in, in, in the most horrific way uh, you know, in, in a way, we, we should all be protesting, we should all be shouting about this, but there, there's a difference between that and rioting. And it comes down to trusting the authorities and with the, with, with the, um, with the kick in Manchester airport so resonant I think the authorities need to need to work very hard to rebuild that trust. We need police on the streets. We need uh, a relationship with the police force that we used to have. We need to cut back on the, the CCTV camera obsession and the cops in cars obsession. We need to reinvigorate the <coughs> the community, and and we need to we need to see clearly the principle that justice is not there to enrich the judiciary, the judges, the barristers, the solicitors. Justice is there to ensure that the people who are affronted can um, 
can be compensated and that taking a case to court is not going to, uh, if you are right, is not going to leave you out of pocket. Um, and we need to see, we need to see those big cases moving forward. That backlog of the Windrush, of the Grenfell, of the post office, the, the, the scandal of Malkinson and others who have been wrongly imprisoned and yet, the, the tardiness in, uh, of the system to restore the damage that it has done. All of this needs to change. We need a, an, a, a commitment to change if we are to save our country. And we need to build unity and we need to challenge the tribalism with reason, with emotion, with a projection of care. It's very easy to rip things up. It's very easy to be angry. It's much harder to be, to reach out across the communities and to, and to be positive. It's much harder. So, yeah, you know, there are plenty of people on social media salivating and spitting um, bile and being angry. But that is not the solution to our problems. We need to reach out across communities and restore friendship and restore order and restore trust.